Hey booktube, here is a book haul. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks usually, but not today. Today I have a lot of print books to show you. I've been kind of on a book buying spree <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why that is except that I never go on book buying bans. I think that's a pointless endeavor for me. Might have been okay when I was younger and didn't have as much money, but not that I'm, you know, independently wealthy or anything. It's just that I can spend money on books now when I want to. I, I save in other areas and I spend in areas that I really want to. So anyway, let me just show you the books I got. The first come from Ollie's. Ollie's is a closeout store with an amazing book section. And their books are often the same books that you can get at Book Outlet. And it's funny, I ran across a book recently that I got at Book Outlet, and I wish I had waited because I ran across it at Ollie's and it was like $1.99 because all of their books are $1.99, $2.99, maybe $4.99 at tops, but not usually more than that. So they have not had a great selection in the past even two years. I started going to them about three years ago and I always try and stop in and occasionally I'll find a book here or there but not nearly what I used to find. And I don't know why that is except that recently I they must have just gotten a new shipment of good books or good to me. So I picked some up. So a couple I got to send to friends. One was Dove Rising. This is by Karen Bow. And Cars. And I didn't like this, really. I couldn't get into it. It's a dystopian YA, and on, on audio it is narrated by Kim, my guest. And I don't really care for her as a narrator, mainly because she has such a little girl kind of a voice. But actually, that's perfect for this book. And so it didn't really have... Well, it kind of was a combination of the narration and the story, but I have to say that the narration is perfect for the story. So it just wasn't for me. I, I just couldn't get into it. But I have a friend who can get into it, or did, and rated this book pretty highly, so I think I'm going to send it to her. And the other is Stolen by Melissa Vittle Cruz and Michael Johnson. This is book two in the Heart of Dread series. Gorgeous. Gorgeous cover. And... Uh, the first book is Frozen, and the third book is I forget. I forget. Uh, I haven't read the third book yet. I need to do that. And it's narrated on audio by uh, people that I really liked, but I can't remember who. But anyway, um, I don't know if the friend I'm going to send this to has the first book or the third, but I know she'll love the series, so I'm going to go ahead and send her this one. And then I found some for me. I found I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I really loved her first book, which was The Sky is Everywhere. And I remember writing in my Goodreads review that I wanted to keep an eye out for this author because I thought that she was uh, amazing. Uh, the Sky is Everywhere was her debut novel. So when this has been out for a long time, and it's been on my iPod for a long time, and I don't know why I don't listen to it. I haven't listened to it yet. I think it's just that I choose other books for some reason. I, you know, shiny, I'm a magpie, what can I say? So, yeah, I need to get this read. Uh, this is a beautiful hardcover. So, yeah, need to do that. The Islands at the End of the World by Austin Aslan. This I really liked. It's set in Hawaii, and it is a survival story, kind of post-apocalyptic. And I loved this first book, but I did not love the sequel to Duology. So, yeah, when I saw it, I thought, ooh, Yes, I like that well enough to want it. So, $1.99. Mm -hmm. Hardcover, beautiful. Yeah. And lastly, at Ollie's, I picked up Kalahari by Jessica Curry. This actually is a part of a series, and I don't know if it's a trilogy or if it's, I don't know, just a series, but it's books that are connected in a way that I wouldn't expect for them to be connected. Like, they just seem like other books by the author. Yeah. But somewhere I read that it's a series. So um, the first two books are Origin and Vitro. And um, this one is Kalahari. It says, a blend of survival, adventure, sci-fi, and first love. So <laughs> ticks all my boxes. Uh, I don't know if it's out on audio, but I'll find out. The other two are, so probably this one is too. Hopefully it's a good narrator. So, yeah. 
Okay, so that is Ollie's. And then I had, golly, I had, I bet you, eight grocery bags, not the plastic ones, but the cloth ones, full of books that have been sitting in my house for so long. And I thought, you know what, it's time. It's time to quit messing around with these books and just take them somewhere in and trade them in or get rid of them, donate them, whatever. So I took them to Half Price Books, which is a bookstore uh, near where I live, kind of. It's where all the big shopping is. And they take books, they and then they resell them. So you can get new books there, you can get used books there for great prices, and then you can get, uh, you can trade your books in. So I took a slew of books, I mean seriously, it was probably a hundred books. And they gave me a bunch of money, which is great. And so I picked up two books. First was Like a River Glorious by Ray Carson. This is the sequel to Walk on Earth, a Stranger. And oh my gosh, beautiful covers. It's just so pretty. I read this on audio and it was wonderful. It's all set, uh, both books are set in the 1800s during the gold rush. And I think it might just be a duology, although the first book ended in a pretty conclusive way, an open way, but a conclusive-ish kind of way. Same with this one. So I don't know if she'll go further with the, the series or not. It's part of the Gold Sears uh, series. So maybe, maybe not. I haven't heard, but oh my gosh, such a good book. I loved the protagonist, although she did kind of frustrate me a little bit in that book, but yeah, it was okay. I Torch Against the Night by Savata here. This is the sequel to An Ember in the Ashes. It is fantastic. I listened to it on audio. It was amazing, and I was so happy to find it for just $10. That is, well, it's a lot less than what you would pay in, um, you know, retail. So, yeah, this says 1995 retail, so it was half that. So, yeah, I'm really glad to own it. The other one I have is signed, so I'll have to get this signed, too. And then I was in uh, North Carolina last week, and I think I was at Costco, and I saw this book, and I wasn't sure I was going to read this series, but Karen, my good friend, got me Six of Crows, so when I saw Crooked Kingdom, and I heard how Karen has been raving about this book. First of all, it's gorgeous, gorgeous book. It has a map inside. I mean, the inside is really nothing to write home about, but it does have a map, which is kind of cool. Um, and it's set in the Grishaverse, which is where her um, Daughter of Shadow and Bone series is set. Uh, the Grisha series is set. <laughs> the Grishaverse. Anyway, so I picked that up, and it's a junky book. It's uh, lots of pages. This is more than 500, 546 pages, so... Can't remember who narrates it on audio, but I'm looking forward to it because if Karen says it's good, then it's probably really good. And then I got a box from Jen at Reading with Pugs. She contacted me and said, I have all these books that are signed, and I know you love signed books, so I thought maybe you would like to have them. And I thought, oh my gosh. So I had several books that I was going to take to Half Price Books, but I thought she might really like these. So I sent her a package and then she sent me one. So, oh, Jen, you are such a sweetheart. And have my name, and she and I share the equal responsibility of hassling Steve Donahue on a regular basis. So um, she is reads all kinds of stuff, really, all kinds of stuff, and she buys books all the time. She's the most prolific book buyer that I think I've ever met, and she is just a wonderful person, so uh, her uh, channel is linked below, and you should go and check her out. This has been here for about a week, but I've been gone, so I didn't know that it came, and I hadn't opened it, so now I have opened it, so let's just see what's in here. Ooh! Mafia Girl. This is an autographed copy by Deborah Blumenthal. Don't know anything about it, but it's probably, from the look of the cover, it's probably romance, which oh, I love romance. And there's the signature. So, ooh, this should be interesting. Oh, yeah, definitely romance. I am aware of the heat of his fingers and the pressure of his grip on my upper arm that remains for a few seconds more than it has to. Yeah, definitely romance. I bet I'm going to love this. Let's see, Lullaby by Amanda Hawking. I have seen this 
and seeing this and seeing this all over the place. And by that, I mean, you know, uh, Books a Million. I see it every time. And actually on Book Outlet, too. Signed copy. This, it says a water song novel. And it I, looks like it's the sequel to Wake. And so, Mermaids, I think. And, you know, I'm, I'm usually up for a good mermaid book. Um, you know, YA. I, I have times when I think, oh, yeah, that's just what I want. This says it is author of the Trill series. So, this, of course, is a different one. But, uh, Water Song. But, yeah. Woo! Signed copy. Oh, let's look at the signature. Because, you know, ooh. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And The Goddess Inheritance. Actually, I have uh, one of the books. This is by Amy Carter. I have one of the books in this series. This is the Goddess Test series. And I listened to it. And I wasn't that impressed with the first book. But I thought I was impressed enough to keep going with the series. So, I don't know. I'll have to keep going. I think this is, I think this is a novella, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. It might be the second book or, uh, yeah, maybe it's the second book. But it's uh, Persephone retelling, so, yeah. Ooh, this one looks good. The Lifeguard by uh, Deborah Blumenthal. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, duh. Like, who wouldn't pick up this cover just for the cover alone? Yes, uh, this obviously is, um, uh, there we go. It is signed. And isn't this the same author that I just held up? Yeah, it's Mafia Girl, so, mm. More romance, and of course, if it's anything like the cover, then I'm in, you know. Uh, the Lifeguard. It's probably about a lifeguard. Oh, Icons by Margaret Stoll. I've seen, or I've read this, and I really liked it. I didn't like the sequel. It's a duology, and the second book is called Idols. But I really liked this one because I thought it had a great premise about aliens. It is um, post-apocalyptic, I'd call it. And there is her signature, and she is a funny person. I saw her on a panel last year at Y'all Fest, and I really enjoyed her. She was quite a character. And at the time, she had written, um, I think, like a Spider-Man, Spider-Girl or something um, episode for a comic book or a graphic novel or something. I don't know. But anyway, she's very animated. And this is a pretty good book. And then Hunt. This is by Andrew Foucault. This I have looked at again, time and time again. Um, and this is uh, dystopian, I want to say. Um, I think it's about some kids that get dumped in West Virginia and then they're hunted down. They're like prey. And it's like sport for somebody else. Not exactly sure, but yeah. Um, anyway... That's, that's right up my alley. You know, I, I'm probably going to love this. So, again, don't know who it's on. Uh, don't know who narrates it. I don't, Actually, I don't know if any of these are on um, audio because I haven't seen them yet. And the last one is Dare You To by Katie McGarry. I think Katie McGarry is really good at what she does. And that's YA romance, uh, contemporary. And... So, I've seen this. I think this is the first one, and I really liked this one. This is about a girl who's damaged or, and has a therapist. I, I say damaged, but I traumatized. That's a terrible way to say that. Um, so, she's been traumatized, and a guy who is um, in a bad situation, has a bad home life, and I think he's an orphan who is in kind of a foster home. I'm not sure. Anyway, it says, Dare to Love. So, Jen, you are just an incredible person. I, I'm so excited for the ones I haven't read. I'm so excited to own the ones I have read and have signed copies. I'm, I, mwah, mwah. I wanted to uh, do a giveaway here at the last for the Delphi Effect. This is by Riza Walker, and this is a signed ARC, Advanced Reader's Copy. And I love Riza Walker. I think she is an incredibly good author, and I'm really excited to have this to give away. I also have a copy that she gave me, and I'm, I've got it on audio because it came out on October the 11th. So I really want to give this away to someone. 
So um, just leave me a comment and uh, be old enough for, to give me your address and live in the United States. Actually, I would love to be able to send this internationally, but that's just not possible. So um, yeah, leave me a comment. Tell me that you want the book and it would help if you were a subscriber, but it's not terribly critical. Yeah. And I will just draw a name out of the hat. I'll number everything and do the random generator thing or whatever. So if you would like to have this book, please leave me a comment. And um, I will leave this open for a week, which I think is October the 22nd, 23rd, something like that. I'll put the ending date down here. And I hope that um, I'm able to pass this along to someone who really will enjoy it. So... Okay, that's it for now from me. Please go check out Jen because she is an incredibly wonderful person and great booktuber. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.